Warning. This video is demonstration and educational purpose only. Mishandling life main voltage may cause injuries to body or death. Inexperienced person or electrical student, do not try this work at home or anywhere. Always call professional electrician or certified electrician to do the electrical work. This is 3 phase 63 amps distribution board and I'm going to install a single phase 63 amps distribution board with some wiring on top of the 3 phase distribution board. So let's get it done. The reason why install single phase DB is to connect the IT servers, internet modem, and staff attendance system in the office from the three phase distribution board. Whenever the three phase distribution board trip or faulty, the single phase distribution board will stay uninterrupted and all those IoT will be online. For starting, open up the trunking wiring casing at the three phase distribution board, then open up the ceiling plaster board and look all the conduit pipe and the wiring is done in messier way. From here, need to trace the IT server's modem socket point wiring for all three places. At the IT server place, open up the ceiling plaster board and there's a single conduit pipe wiring travel above the ceiling that need to trace until to the three phase distribution board. Somehow, I managed to climb up above the plaster ceiling and walk to the IT server place where I open the plaster ceiling board. Every step I walk above the plaster ceiling must be careful. And look all those wires laying around tangle and maxi like that above the plaster ceiling board. With all those tangle wires like that, it's going to be a hard time tracing the wires. But anyways, always look for the right wire to trace carefully before dismantle the wrong wires. I reach to the IT server place above the plaster ceiling and that's the wiring need to trace until to the three phase distribution board. If the wiring didn't cover with the conduit pipe, just follow the wire colors to trace the wiring. Before trace the wires, must need to check if got any loop-in connection to other socket or lights wiring point. And there's a loop-in connection at another socket which will be no issue if isolate the wires. So I grab the wires and check to trace the path where the wire travels. And check again the wires when reached near to the three phase distribution board. When reached near the three phase distribution board, Check the wire again to make sure these wires are the right one and use the color tape to mark the wires. Now, the next place is the internet modem and the internet network switch. So, I'm standing above the plaster ceiling and from there, I able to trace the socket plug point wiring by shaking the conduit pipe. At the midway, shake the conduit pipe and follow the path where the conduit pipe travel above the plaster ceiling. Once reached at the three phase main distribution board, and find the right wiring for the socket point connect to the internet modem and the network switch. Then use electric tape to mark the wires to identify this is the right wire to connect at the new distribution board. The last wire need to trace is the staff attendance computer socket point. But the socket point located above the plaster ceiling and is connect with 3 core flexible wire. This 3 core flexible wire look tangled and not covered with conduit pipe. So it will easy to trace the wire. The computer socket point wire is near to the 3 phase distribution board. So it's very easy to trace the wire above the plaster ceiling board. Shake the wire until to find the path where the wire travel. Once find out the three core flexible wire near to the distribution board. And it's easy to find the flexible wire at the three phase distribution board. And use the color electric tape to mark the wire. Now all the three place socket wiring point is traced and identified. Now it's time to install the new single phase distribution board. This single phase distribution board going to place on top of the wiring trunking because it's easier to run the wires into the wire trunking. Inside the single phase distribution board, the live neutral output wire connection is already done. If you want to know how to set up single phase distribution board without load connection, the link in the description below. Use 20mm hole saw and drill top of the wiring trunking. Make sure when drilling, prevent accidentally drill to the live wires. It may cause faulty or danger to the person in charge. Now that's the clear cut to make the 20mm hole. Make sure clean the debris from the drilling holes. Next, drill holes inside the wiring trunking together with 3 phase distribution board panel. Then drill hole to the single phase distribution board panel at the side. Before install the single phase distribution board, make sure the drill hole must align properly and it will easy to do the main wiring. Use hammer drill with 6mm drill bit and drill 2 holes on the wall. Then put two wall plug inside the hole and screw a single phase distribution board on the wall. For single phase 63 amps main wire, use 16 mm PVC copper wire and insert the main wire into the holes at the single phase distribution board. 
Use electric tape to mark the main wire as the live main wire at the board distribution board panel. Next, insert another main wire as neutral main wire into the single phase distribution board and run the wire into the neutral terminal at the three phase distribution board. For the earth main wire, use 2.5 mm green color copper insulated PVC cable and insert the wire into the distribution board. Now all the live neutral earth main wire are installed into the single phase distribution board. Use wire cutter and remove the PVC insulate layer in the live and neutral 16 mm cable and expose the copper wire for the both wire. At the single phase main switch, unscrew the live and neutral terminal and insert the live neutral 16 mm wire into the main switch terminal. Then screw the terminal tightly. Connect the earth main wire which labeled with yellow color electric tape at the single phase distribution board earth terminal. Also connect other end of the earth wire at the three phase distribution board earth terminal. Turn off the electric supply at the three phase distribution board and unscrew the red phase incoming terminal at the three phase main switch. Now insert the single phase main life wire at the red phase terminal incoming of the three phase. Then screw the red phase terminal tightly. Next, connect the neutral 16mm wire into the three-phase distribution board main neutral terminal and screw the neutral terminal tightly. Then, turn on the three-phase main switch electric supply. Now, turn off the MCB which connected to all these three wiring socket points. Disconnect the live neutral and earth wire at the three-phase distribution board for the socket points. Once, remove all the three socket point wiring live neutral earth wire. Now it's time to insert these wires into the single phase distribution board. Put in the wires into the trunking hole straight to the single phase distribution board as you see here and arrange the wire nicely into the wiring trunking. Inside the single phase distribution board, connect the neutral wire at the neutral terminal, connect the earth wire to the earth terminal and connect the live wire to the MCB terminal with current rate 20 amps. Now it's time to turn on the single phase supply. Turn on the main switch and RCCB and it's worked without any trip at the three-phase distribution board. Check the electric supply with test pan and all the electric supply present at the MCB and no open circuit. For simulation, turn off the three-phase distribution board electric supply and the single-phase distribution board electric supply is still on. In the office, the IT server, the internet modem, and the staff attendance system, the electric supply is still on because all the wirings are connected to the single phase distribution board, which stay uninterrupted while the three phase distribution board electric supply is disconnected. Turn on the three phase main switch back, and the split load wiring connection for IT system load at the single phase distribution board is done. Now the IT system are stay uninterrupted if failure happen in the three phase distribution board. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something new today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more interesting electrical content videos. Your support matters. Thank you.